All right, everyone, here we are with ticker symbol SNDL, Sundial Growers Inc. And before we jump into this chart, I want to say welcome to all the first time viewers and investors. Welcome to the channel, Invest for Tomorrow. To all the subscribers, welcome back and let's jump into this chart. So, SNDL has been in sideways movement. We've talked about the 46 cent mark, kind of broke it slightly down here at 45 cent mark. And from that point forward, we kind of had a breakout rose up to the 50 cents and it's just been moving sideways now when you look at the macd which i'm going to pull up in just a, a second right now these indicators don't always signify that but they show signs of it that this is actually holding itself up pretty nicely it's been above the macd for some time which was when it was hitting those 50 cent marks where it's at right now is actually working its way down but it's showing signs of turning around slightly, slightly. Doesn't always mean that here in this area. Due to the fact that it could possibly go a little bit lower and then start to work its way back up because the light red bars here start to show signs that the bears are kind of disappearing and the bulls are going to reappear. So by the bulls reappearing, what they do is their intention is to bring this up back to the midway point and then from the midway point actually spike up and hit a newer high now you could see how they did that here it was pretty quiet here it was pretty subtle it's been kind of a wave right now up and down right but the bulls have a chance they have a chance to bring it back up so here we are with the pretty settled and this was a pretty big spike here so that could be a possibility to happen or it could be a really slow process where it starts to work its way back up slowly. But once it breaks through that midway point and it continues and those bars of green start off real dark and they start growing pretty big, you can see those rises happen from 48 all the way up to 54, right? 53 and some change. So you want to watch this closely, how the MACD is acting and what it's indicating to us. They don't always signify that the stock's going to go up. It doesn't always you know correlate directly to the fact that once it breaks through the midway point there's no stopping the stock now and so forth but it is something to watch if it continues to pull down because it looks kind of straight right now but it can start to turn around due to the fact as i'm stating because of the fact that these red lighter bars are appearing and they're getting smaller and smaller as you can see it's going in that direction and the smaller they get the more closer we're getting to the midway point and then the green ones start to come and then we're going to see green ones rising up until there's a moment of a peak and it'll start descending again and with that you would see this line start to slowly bring itself up and it breaks through that midway point right here and once it breaks through that midway point anything above that midway point is where the stock would actually rise you could see that here from this point as it was already rising and once it started to rise you started to see the reflection of that rise in the chart up here so very interesting stuff even here and it was a pretty big run so we want to watch SNDL very closely or also consider the fact that it could continue to go down but there's going to be a reversal at some point and there's an opportunity there due to the fact that it's in this channel here right and it hasn't fallen below 45 cents it broke through the 46 cent range, which was very important. It hit the 45 cent range and it hasn't hit it again. And it's been holding itself up above it, but it's having trouble breaking through the 53 and way up here at the 59 and slightly in the middle of everything at the 56 cent range to hit newer highs. So around 60 cents is probably one of the most important resistance levels that needs to be broken through, which is up here. For this to actually start to hit newer highs and newer levels of resistance to create that staircase effect and hit newer highs and get deeper into bullish territory right and that's something looking out you know days and weeks from now so we want to keep those numbers in mind and pay close attention to it on the lower extremity of things it's 46 cents and 45 cents we're not that far from it but this stock does move by cents it doesn't move by by a lot it moves by the hundreds and thousands place at a time it seems like a lot but it's moving like i said by the hundreds and thousands place so we need to watch it closely 
but it doesn't mean that it changes the volatility of a stock. The stock can move pretty fast as well. So this is going to be a pretty broad stretch here. We're going to look at this pretty broad. And due to the fact that that was the peak before the fall, and we're going to kind of break this down by the midway point, which is going to be our 50-day moving average. Let me see if I got that exactly there. Let's move it down to the T. And let's move our support to the T. So here we are with the support and resistance currently. The highest point reach was up here at 53.90. That's important to break through in the near term if it breaks through this resistance. The midway point of all of it right now is the 50 day moving average at 50.13. I'd write that down. That needs to be crossed. That's like literally the first resistance level that the bulls need to break through to get into bullish territory and to pull away from it. It's going to be this next resistance up here, which we're going to talk about in just a moment. But 5013 is the first point and the beginning point to get into bullish territory. So the bulls definitely want to break through that. The further they get from that downwards, the deeper this is getting into bearish territory and the closer that we're getting to 46 cents and that 45 cent range that could possibly lead us to newer lows if they get broken through. Our lowest support level reached in the day was 47.51. We're currently at 48.03. If this breaks through 47.51, I'd pay very close attention to how the stock's reacting, how quickly is it moving to newer lows, and also keep in mind that we're already in bearish territory and breaking through that support just gets us deeper away from the 50-day moving average into bearish territory, into newer lows and newer supports. So you want to consider that and pay close attention to the behavior of the stock, how it's reacting if it breaks through 47.51. And your next point of reference would be down here at 46 cents. Now, on the other hand, we have what the bulls want. The bulls want to break through this resistance. This resistance is just as important as the 50-day moving average, but more important than the 50-day moving average once it gets crossed. So the 50-day moving average needs to get crossed first. And this resistance is probably the most important because it's the highest point before we saw this fall. And fall this steeply and break through the 50 day moving average and level off at 4803. 5251 needs to be broken through by the bulls so that they can start to gain leverage over the chart and pull away from the 50 day moving average into newer highs and new resistance levels. Also, they can gain slight control over the tug of war here. I mean, this has been a back and forth tug of war if they can break through this resistance and pull away from it significantly they can start to hit newer highs new resistance levels and gain control over the chart so it's going to be important to watch that the macd is showing possibilities of a turnaround if the bulls reappear if they break through the 50-day moving average in the process they're one step closer to gaining control over the chart but we need to watch the macd closely due to the fact that just because those red bars are getting lighter and there's a possibility of green bars reappearing, it can always change and actually get back to darker red bars. So we want to be very, very cautious of it. And we want to watch our support, our 50 day moving average, and then our resistance. As always, if you found this video helpful and informative, please do so and subscribe. Don't forget to click on the bell to turn on all notifications and not miss a single video that I post. Share this with your friends and community. And don't forget to hit the like button to let me know you watch this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money.